Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. House Bill 40 has finally been sent to my desk this week. HB 40 addresses many very difficult, very emotional issues. The passions, the emotions, the sentiments on both sides of these issues are very powerful. I respect them very much as a person. And as governor, it is my job to do the best I can to represent all the people of Illinois on these difficult issues. The moral argument against HB 40 is very powerful. In my view, it's not debatable. It is irrefutable. I respect it very much. And through my life, I have respected that view and supported candidates for office who are pro-life. And I have voted for and supported public officials and public servants in office who are pro-life. On the other side of this issue, the arguments, the position for women's rights, women, women's equality, women's health are very powerful. I support them. I personally am pro-choice. I always have been. And I made no qualms about that when I was elected governor. And I have not and never will change my views. I personally believe that a woman should have, must have the right to decide what goes on in her own body that a woman should have the right to decide her health care. I personally believe that a woman should have the right to choose, make this decision herself in conjunction with those she seeks counsel from, her physician, her family, her religious leaders, as, as she chooses. I also believe that no woman should be forced to make a d different decision than another woman would make purely based on her income. I believe that a woman living with limited financial means should not be put in a position where she has to choose something different than a woman of higher income would be able to choose. These are my personal beliefs. I tried in the spring, and I've tried for months as this bill was debated and ultimately passed, to find common ground with both sides of this issue. We were unable to do that. The passions run too deep. As a result, today I am announcing that I am signing House Bill 40. Questions? Um, I am being true to my values and my views. I have always been true to those in my discussions with the General Assembly and others in the spring, I proposed what I hope would be a compromise 
that they that both sides could agree to. Neither side would agree. I have to make a decision. I have to do what I believe is right for the people of Illinois, and I have to be consistent with my values, and that's what I've done. Are they misleading us when they say you promised to sign the bill as it is? To veto. I'm sorry, to veto the bill? I am being consistent with my values. I attempted, as I said earlier, I attempted to propose a compromise in the spring, and I've attempted to advocate for that compromise since the spring with leaders, legislators, with advocates on both sides of this issue to deal with the elements of HB 40 in two steps. Trigger now, other issues later. Neither side would support that approach. As a result, I have to decide, and I've made my decision. Um, I have relied on dozens and dozens of people who I respect. I've certainly the first lady. I talk to the first lady every day on many topics. She's my best friend. Um, but I have met with legislators on both sides of this issue. I have met with advocates on both sides of this issue, community leaders, women on both sides of this issue, and I've tried to listen and learn, pay respect. The views on these issues are, are deeply held, strongly, strongly felt. And I've tried to make a decision that I believe is best. Certainly, this is a very, very significant uh, issue, as I cannot emphasize enough. The passions on both sides run strong, and I deeply respect, deeply respect the moral arguments, the religious arguments, the faith-based arguments against HB 40. I understand them. I respect them. As I have stated, I have my views. I have to be. I must be consistent with my views, and I've attempted to be consistent while also accommodating, trying to find common ground on both sides of the issue. We're not able to do that. You're raising a very important point. This is a very important subject. Where I have made the decision that I think is best for the people of Illinois and and consistent with my values. Governor, to to see if we could get agreement on an amendatory veto, which the outcome of an amendatory veto, it's a two-step deal with the deal. As I said, I think I, I think I told you, I told numbers of the press, do two-step, let's deal with the trigger language now and other issues later. So thought that might be a compromise that's consistent with my views because I support um, low-income women having the same opportunity, the same ability to choose as higher income women, but a, a two step process was not embraced by either side. Thanks very much, everybody.